Hello guys, <clears throat> my name is Diego Pacheco and this is another Scala video. Uh, today we're gonna talk about uh, Shade and uh, Maincached. Maincached is a very interesting solution for um, key value store. Um, the good thing about Maincached um, comparing Redis, for instance, is, uh, for instance, it is that um, in Maincache T is multi-thread and Redis is not multi-thread. Redis is cool because it has several um, specific commands and data structures and you can create your own data structure, but it's not multi-core, um, is really not multi-threading and Maincache D is. So that's one of the biggest strengths in Maincache uh, D. So today, uh, since this is a kind of video, we're gonna see a library called Shade, and we're gonna see Shade working with uh, main cache D. So, <clears throat> in order to do so, uh, first thing is uh, you need to download main cache D, and you need to build it. I'm using 169. Um, as you can see here, main cache D is built uh, with C. Um, then once you build it, you just run uh, the main cache D binary right and that's it we are good to go so i have main cache d running and now let's take a look on shade uh and in my idea project with uh, sbt so this is a sbt project i'm um, using scala the bad news uh it is scala is in uh, 213 right now and shade um you know uh, is compiled for 212 so i have to downgrade one uh, version of Scala um, and uh, Scala 3 is not out of the door yet but it's coming soon um, it will be very good by the way um, but here I just uh, add shade um, and uh, we are using the version 1.10.0 uh, um, that's all you need um, when in sense of dependencies uh, as we can see shade brings Monix which is a interesting functional um, library for uh, concurrency, right? So we have a couple of libraries here. Um, under the hood, we can see that it's um, using spy main cache D, right? So um, the library could be a bit leaner, uh, but you know, it's fine. Um, and uh, if you take a look on the application, um, we, we need to import shade main cache D and we also need to have a global um, execution context. So I'm, I'm importing the implicit uh, global one here. Um, and then we need to establish a main cache D connection. And we do that by using the main cache D uh, and then passing a configuration. So here is running locally. So that's why you are seeing 127.001. And this is the default port, which is uh, 11,211. Uh, um, um, so once I do that, uh, then we can basically use main cache D. So there is a, um, a key value pair operations, right? And all operations, we're gonna get a future uh, back. So uh, this is one of the basic operations in main cache D is called add. Is equivalent in red is like the set operation then you pass a key and a value and you can pass um, a TTL a time to live so here let's say I want this key to live for a minute so I create a key called username and the value is Diego uh, then uh, because this is a future right um, I'm gonna override the on complete um, method and I'm gonna do a closure here, all right? Uh, and once this is complete, I'm gonna get a boolean saying uh, if that operation add or change the values in main cache D or not. So here we're gonna print uh, if this is was inserted or not. Here in Scala, you can see that I'm using uh, the uh, string interpolation future. Uh, so this is kind of a weird uh, because there's an S here. So that's not a typo, right? That's how the feature works. And then we can do expressions like this. Um, then 
I want to do a get, right? Because I inserted a key. And now we're going to get an option of string uh, because this is a key value pair, right? That's what we add on add. Um, then I'm going to do a main cache, the get, um, get for a string. And the key I'm looking is username. And then again, we're going to have a future, right? So then when on complete, I just going to print uh, the result. Um, this get is not the operation, it's the get of the option, right? So um, this code is not 100% safe because if if the key was not there, this would blow, right? So this code will be safer if there were a pattern matching here, uh, you know, and then we match if we have something or not, right? But uh, here, here we're gonna work because I just added, so uh, it will be fine. But you know, you need to be careful with option.get. And then um, just doing some threads living here, right? So let's run this application. And we're gonna run two times just to see what happens. So the first time I just run it and we can see that uh, was inserted uh, a success true, right? Um, and I got some Diego. And if I just run again uh, and I'm running this faster than a minute, I see success false because the key is there already and not changing anything, but I still get some Diego. So that's it. Uh, very straightforward, very easy API to use with um, MCACHD. Thank you guys. I hope you guys like it. This is Scala video. See you next time. Take care. Cheers.